Anderson, the fullback, recovers for it. He uh, appears to be challenged strongly by the Elfin attack, and he gets his free out. He takes it out. It's not a very good one, but it comes as far as their centre forward. Foraging far up the field. He gets it back to James Kenny, their centre back. Now it's with Damien Murray. These three seem to be three of the stronger St. Hayden players. Centre back, centre forward in midfield. It's David Dunn on the ball, clearing his lines for Elfin once again. David really having a storm up for Elfin today. But it comes again, once again to the midfielder for St. Hayden. And he gets the ball forward. It's out there towards James Coyne. James Coyne, number 12. They seem to be playing the swing a lot. It goes up towards Parik Tierney. Parik Tierney turns one way, turns the other. But his kick is blocked down by Martin Craig. Very good blocking by the Elfin defence. But a racing through now we have there. Uh, number 8 Damien Murray Damien Murray gets the ball and he kicks it over the bar a fine point into the teeth of the wind Damien Murray strong midfielder using his strength to good effect there as he tears through the centre and gets a fine point Elfin mentors anxiously looking at Niall Dockery. Niall injured his hand there, but he appears to be all right again. The ball comes out into the middle of the field, racing after it there. This is Gary Meehan, number 12 on his back. Gary gets his kick in, up in towards uh, this corner. Trevor Rogers on the fullback, running out for it. He's been chased by Michal Travers. Michal Travers preventing him from getting it up. Illegally, says the referee, who awards the free to Trevor. Trevor gets it out again, uh, this side of the field, to the number six, James Kinney. James Kinney kicks it down the middle of the field. It beats uh, David Dunn, but David uh, gets uh, back to it there, and it played to Paddy O'Connor. Paddy O'Connor, once he's got past his man, gets the ball up, but uh, once again, centre-back for St. Aidan's gets the ball. This is James Kenny getting it down the field, this side of the field. David Dunn beaten for possession at that time. Uh, illegally, says the referee, as the ball was uh, pulled on with his hands on the ground, and it's a free, which David himself will take. David looking very cool, calm and collected, and this his big day, having a great game for Elfin so far in this first half. He kicks it up, a high ball, right up to the centre of it. Michal Sarvitz gets his hand to it, doesn't hold on to it. Trevor Rogerson does, turns first one way, then the other, clears it out. Good defending there, but it only comes as far as Gary Meehan. Gary twists one way, he's fouled, then says the referee, and it's a free in for Elfin. Will it be John Horn? Will it be Paddy O'Connor? It's left to Paddy. Paddy to take this one, he leaves it down, no, Michal Travers I think is coming out to take this one, maybe slightly outside his range, but Michal very accurate, with the breeze behind him, Elfin haven't scored for a while, a point here would be very valuable as Michal kicks it in, and he kicks it wide, unfortunately a few chances going a begging, Elfin not pulling away with this breeze behind them. Brendan Kelly kicks the ball out to this side of the field as Patrick Fox who gets this one, Patrick gets down, having a great old tussle here with Ian Kelly, Ian Kelly, Clears the ball down. Niall Dockery is racing for it with number 11, Martin Connolly. Martin Connolly, strong Martin, gets past Niall this time. Gets the ball in towards the centre there, where De Derek Healy gets the ball. Midfielder Derek Healy, oh, a very bad kick from Derek there. He kicks it directly out over the sideline. The breeze, I'm sure, carried it away on him on that time. And Shane Neary takes the sideline ball from Elfin. A long kick up with the breeze behind him. It goes in past, but as far as Trevor Rogerson. Trevor having a very good game at fullback for St. Hayden's. He kicks it out towards the sideline. Owen McCormack is chasing out after it. It appears to have beaten Owen out over the line. And the linesman will query which way is this one going. Elfin seem to be claiming it as Shane Neary steps up to take it. And he laughs at goal words once more. It goes past Paul Kelly. It comes back to Paul Kelly. Paul making uh, progress there, but his kick is blocked down. It comes out. This is Patrick Fox. Patrick Fox turns first one way, then the other. He kicks it. His, his kick is blocked down. It comes to Paul Kelly. He kicks it back again to Patrick Fox. He gets his shot in, but Trevor Rogers on the fullback clears it out. Goes the far. Gary Meehan chasing for possession. David Dunn runs onto it now. He's been tackled by Derry Healy, but he gets his kick in. It's coming into the danger zone. Across the goals again. It comes across. Colin Rock chases out after it. He prevents us from going wide. He feeds it outside here to Michal Travers. Michal Travers at a better angle to the goal. He turns with uh, Ian Kelly is marking him, but he still has the ball. He makes good progress. Gets the ball in there. Tried to get it to Paddy O'Connor. Didn't quite succeed. Now he laughs it in towards the goal. Unfortunately, this one is uh, it is kept in play, but it's cleared out by the defenders. Out again to Gary Meehan. Picks up the loose ball, and Gary kicks it over the bar. A fine point there, an opportunist point. Gary, the ball coming out to him there on his own. He looked up, saw the post, and made no mistake. 1-5 for Elfin, 1 point for St. Aidan's. Elfin folk wondering, will this lead be enough? It could do with another few scores before half time. As the ball goes out to the far side of the field, it's been chased out there. Uh, Brendan Rock is chasing out with centre out back James Kenny. James Kenny gets the ball. It's gone out over the sideline. No, he keeps it in play. James gets it down there past Martin Connolly. David Dunn running onto this one. David having trouble getting it up on this occasion. And uh, he's uh, dispossessed. As the ball comes out to James Coyne. James Coyne feeds it up this wing. No doubt towards Paul Tiernan. But Anthony Finn getting in there to get his hands on this one. Uh, Paul Tiernan has it now. He gives it back again to Ian Kelly. 
Ian Kelly getting the ball up. Paddy O'Connor is back there, uh, rooting for So is Martin Craig. Martin Craig, the fullback, turns first one way, then the other. Clears the lines as he gets the ball out to the side. Paddy Box has it now. Paddy is uh, partially dispossessed, but he still gets his foot to the ball and boots it up the field. But the Hayden man runs out for it. He appeared to pick that off the ground. He's been harassed by Colin Rock. He uh, nonetheless gets his kick, and the ball goes out over the sideline. A lot of the balls in this side of the field going out over the line. This one appears to be. A line ball for Elf Finn, although the linesman says otherwise, and the ball is uh, taken down as Ian Kelly takes it. David Dunn gets the ball and once again puts it firmly up the centre of the field. Michal Travers getting out under this one. Gary Meehan kicks the ball in for the towards goal. Paul Kelly gets the ball. He turns first one way, then the other. His way is blocked up. He gets it across towards Michal Travers. Michal Travers now with the ball back to Paul Kelly. Paul finding it difficult with three men in front of him to make progress. Paul kicks the ball. Unfortunately, he kicks it wide. Paul getting a lot of possession, but they're really closing down the room on him, and he's not getting room to swing his leg properly to make the proper contact. It's kicked by midfielder Jermot Murray. Jermot Murray gets it on to Martin Connolly, the centre half forward. Up it comes here to James Coyne. James Coyne having a great battle with Niall Dockery out on this wing. Back to midfielder Jermot Murray. Up into this corner again. Running out after it here. This time, uh, Pori Tiernan. No, that was Alan Corbett. Alan Corbett gets the ball. Anthony Finn has the ball for Elfin, clears his lines out. It's that man, Ian Kelly again. Ian Kelly and Patrick Fox having a rare old battle here. Ian Kelly getting the battle of this one. Gets it up towards Porrick Tiernan, but in nips Martin Craig on this one. And Martin kicks the ball. Unfortunately, it goes over the sideline, but his lines are well cleared. Over on this side of the field, we have the St. Hayden's substitutes all gathered there on the side of the field, cheering their team on. This one is being taken by the number eight, Jeremy McMurray. He gets the ball in where it is breaks to number 11, Martin Connolly. Martin Connolly has the ball now. Martin, one of the strong St. Aidan's players, kicks it in towards the goal. Unfortunately for him, he kicks this one to the right and kicks it wide. Aidan's missing a few chances. The scoreboard tells us it's 1-5 to 2 points in favour of Elfin. Six points of a lead, not a great lead, but the wind as strong as it is today. Kick out again. Out into the middle of the field. Anthony Finn gets his foot to it. Niall Dockery playing a storm of Ralph Finn in this first half. Uh, getting the ball up. But it only comes as far as Ian Kelly. Ian Kelly being chased by Paddy O'Connor. Paddy O'Connor getting the ball up as far as Paul Kelly. Paul getting a lot of possession. He kicks the ball further on. Hallerbach runs out for it. The ball beats him and it comes to him before Des Higgins. Des Higgins but the ball is fouled. And it's a free for St. Hayden's. This is going to be taken by Des himself. He kicks it down this side of the field. Once again, a tussle for possession. The man coming out with it is Anthony Finn. Anthony Finn gets it to Martin Craig. Martin Craig laughs the ball off the field. Gary Meehan gets his hand to it. Doesn't hold on to it. That appeared to be picked off the ground by the number two, James Nodden for St. Aidan's. And it is a free for Finn. John Horn running out to this one. John gives it sky. In towards the goals. Michal Travers tried to get his hands to it, but the ball goes harmlessly wide. These chances are chances which well could be regretted before the game is over. The ball comes out again. Michal Travers gets it. He gets it across as far as Patrick Fox. Patrick Fox shoots, and he kicks it over the bar. A fine point by Patrick Fox, having his first score of the game there, taking a pass from Michal Travers, who won possession well, and puts another little bit of daylight between Elfin and St. Aidan's. Elfin, 1-6. St. Aidan's, 2 points. No hurry at all in the St. Aidan's men to kick the ball out. Who can blame them? Facing into a wind like that, they'll probably be a little bit quicker in the second half. Here he comes, Brendan Kelly kicks the ball out, and the referee blows his whistle. Brendan McDermott signalling the end of the first half. A first half which sees Elfin leading by 1-6 to 2 points. The fans in the stand, if they're Elfin supporters, they wonder is this lead enough? If they're from St. Aidan's, as many of them are, they'll wonder can they pull back this lead? That's what we'll find out in the second half. We had a big win with us in the first half. We had an awful lot of possession. Words of wisdom. One wonders. <laughs> Referee Brenda McDermott preparing to get the second half underway. The fans hushed in expectation, wondering what the second half holds in store. He's waiting to get his watch absolutely right. He throws the ball up and the second half is on. The ball comes to Paddy O'Connor. Paddy O'Connor now being into the wind of the second half. Let's see will the Elfin tactics be any different. Paddy is fouled. He's waiting to take this free. He's in no hurry at all. But now he lost the ball in goal words. Coming out to it there is Michal Travers. Michal Travers with the ball. He gets it across as far as Colin Rock. Colin Rock kicks it in, throws the goal, but the ball goes wide. First attack in the second half to Elfin. No score yielded. The score remains as it was. Come on, lads, don't you? 
Brendan Kelly. A little bit more of Shannon in the second half as he kicks the ball once again out towards the stand side of the field. Getting good distance into his kicks now in the second half. Niall Dockery goes for the ball. The ball beats him as it comes to James Coyne. James Coyne is fouled there and it's a free for St. Aidan's. Giving them the first opportunity of the second half to get the ball up into the Elfin danger zone. No Collins signalling his linesman's intentions there from the sideline telling the referee exactly where that line ball is from. It's to be taken by Damian Murray. Damian Murray, a long ball at Keats, backs and forwards. Keelan Milana comes out, takes his ball, beats the defender and kicks the ball and skies out into the stand on the near side of the field. Well out of the danger zone, the breeze carry the ball well out of play. But it means St. Aidan's are still on the attack. And this ball is being taken in by their tall midfielder, Damian Murray. Damian Murray gets the ball in across the goals. Martin Craig is running out after it. Martin has the ball in his possession. He loses the ball. And number 10, David Hoey nips in. And David appears to be fouled. And it's a free in, I think, for St. Aidan's. Martin seemed to have that one under control. He just lost possession for a minute. St. Aidan's got the ball. And this free is being taken by David Hoy. But David Hoy kicks the ball very harmlessly wide. A bad miss for St. Aidan's at this stage. Still no score in this second half. Minutes ticking by slowly agonizingly slowly for the elfin people keelan malana keelan just as laid back with his kick outs in the second half as his opposite number was in the first kicking it out not a great kick out but it gets uh, out only as far as the uh, number 10 for St. Hayden's who kicks it in but Keelan Milanov clears his lines once again it comes down here past Shane it comes to Patrick Fox Patrick Fox roaming out the field more in the second half gets it down to Gary Meehan Gary Meehan beats his man and plays it up into the corner there where it goes to Michal Travers Michal gets his man rounds his man and is fouled fine intelligent play there from Michal Travers with one swear if he was past him defender left with no option but to foul him Michal runs in to take up his position and he sends the ball out to John Horn to kick this one in midfielder John not getting the same distance as the first half but the ball goes in there and it was knocked on by Paul Kelly but it doesn't get as far as the target out it comes again John Horn chasing after this one he's chasing it with Martin Connolly Martin Connolly gets it up and Martin Connolly I think is fouled by John Horn perhaps a sensible thing to do there is John Horn gets it there uh, uh, Damien Murray gets the ball in he kicks it in towards the Alfin goal and Bobo got hit and a great save by Keelan Milanov pulled on there by the full forward Keelan Milanov got down well to it and out it comes and Martin Craig is coming out towards this side of the field with the ball as he clears his line Shane Neary going for the ball there and it's Shane is awarded a free and it is a free out for the Alfin lads pressure relieved once more Dave Dunn running down here at the side of the field looking to get onto, onto the end of this one it's Paddy O'Connor who contests it Paddy is fouled and yet another free for Elfin earning extra inches extra yards as Elfin get the ball downfield David Dunn looking up to see where we'll kick this one he kicks it in towards the middle and a sensible thing to do is the ball comes to Gary Meehan Gary Meehan kicks it on further in Michal Travers is pushed out to it again he hand passes it out to Patrick Fox Patrick Fox kicks it in and it's over the bar a fine point there lovely move by Elfin David Dunn to Gary Meehan Gary Meehan to Michal Travers Michal Travers to Patrick Fox he finishes it in impeccable style putting the ball over the bar giving Elfin a little bit more breathing space and the ball comes out again James Kinney picks it up in the middle of the field for the St. Aidan's boys up to centre forward Martin Connolly Martin Connolly getting past his man then delivering the ball in towards the middle there but Martin Craig is equal to this one as he gets it inside he tops it but Anthony Finn clears it out as far as Niall Dockery Niall Dockery getting the ball down only as far as Martin Connolly again as St. Aidan's come on the attack knocked away from there as Paddy O'Connor got a hand into that one David Dunn clears the lines for El Finn ball coming down the middle of the field it's been chased after there by Owen McCormick Owen McCormick with the ball he hops it he kicks it out here towards the sideline is it going to go out of play no it's not now it's out of play St. Aidan's lineman with the uh, line flag raised and this one will be a line ball for St. Aidan's to be taken by their number six James Kenny James having a fine game for St. Aidan's kicks it in towards the middle of the field there but it only gets as far as the Elfin number five and that was Niall Dockery now the ball goes in Keelan Milanov comes out he drops it he gets onto it again he has the ball in his possession all looks under control as he kicks the ball and skies it once more out there into the wide confines of the, the stand at the side of Hyde Park Line ball for St. Aidan's. St. Aidan's number 12 having, having a dispute there with the Lions band as the ball's been sought for. No particular hurry on the Elfin side to get the ball back into play. Five minutes gone in the second half. 20 more long minutes for Elfin to wait as the ball is kicked in here by the midfielder in towards the centre of the field. It comes to Niall Dockery. Niall clears his lines. 
gets it down as far as Brendan Rock. Brendan Rock gets it down a little bit further up that wing there. Where